Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and today we are coming to you from Lumio City where the electric type glitches are hosting the Striton Grins and the glitches if they get a victory here today they will guarantee themselves a slot in the Victory Road series whereas the Striton Grins are just trying to get themselves out of the Twisted Spoon position so let us know in the comments below who you think will win this one, will it be the electric types, will it be the grass types, let's send it down. But that is right, the Striton Greens currently sitting in last place, the Twisted Spoon positions. They start out with Brute Bonnet and Miascarada. It will be Electros and Rotom in its heat form, starting out for the Lumios glitches, and immediately an Ice Fang onto Electros from Miascarada. Gets a good hit there, but Rotom is going to respond with the Force Palm, capitalizing on that part dark typing of Miascarada, and it's left it paralyzed as well. So this is going to slow it down massively and potentially make it unable to move as we get the Sand Tomb, which will not work because the Electros has that levitate ability, and so does Rotom, which is a very smart play by the Lumios glitches as the Trick Room is set up here by Electros. It will twist those dimensions and reverse the speed order. Now making Electros the quickest on the field as it goes for the Flower Trick using Miascarada's signature move on Brute Bonnet. It is not very effective even with that critical hit. It still doesn't get a great deal of damage as Miascarada is going to go with the Gyro Ball onto Electros, which is not very effective. Electros tanks that hit and Brute Bonnet follows it up with the last resort, but unfortunately that does fail. This opens the door for Rotom to capitalize and it does go with the super effective cross poison, but Miascarada is able to hold on barely but Electros could finish it off here going for the side shield bash, bash but this will not affect Miascarada or Brute Bonnet for that matter because they're both part dark types as the victory dance from Miascarada it needs to get that dance of victory in place as it does boost its attack defense and its speed as well the striking greens desperately want their fifth win of the season as a blood moon from Brute Bonnet Gets a great hit there on Rotom as well, and Rotom responds with the Bullet Seed, and this is going to do very little damage to Group on it with that Grass typing. Now, the Lumios glitches are in 8th place, and as I said, they will lock up a place in the Victory Road series if they can get a victory here. They are currently in a Leader's 8 position after that not very effective hit. Does land 5 times on Group on it, and Electros follows it up with the Strength Sap, sapping that Strength from the already weakened Miascarada, it is going to lower its attack stat, but this is going to restore Electros' health back to full strength, and Brute Bonnet is going to go with the foul play now. On to Rotom. Rotom is in knockout range as it is looking to respond with the hold back. That is not a shiny Brute Bonnet. It tanks that move, and Miascarada with the Bulldoze. This will not hit Electros. Again, that Levitate ability coming into play for both it and Rotom, but it does connect with Brute Bonnet, its own teammate. Thankfully, it's not very effective on Brute Bonnet, but it does lower the speed there of the grass type. Sorry, not very effective, but didn't do much damage as a hold back from Brute Bonnet onto Electros. Electros with the Bulldozer isn't going to affect Rotom, but this will hit both grass type Pokemon and will. Sorry, it is not very effective on them, but it will eliminate Miascarada from this matchup. There is so much going on right now, and Rotom with the Esper Wing will not work on Brute Bonnet. Yet again, the dark types are immune to. Psychic type moves as those twisted dimensions have returned to normal and out comes Rillaboom for the striking greens as Rotom now back to being the quickest on the field meets it with the magical leaf which is not very effective on the grass type who looks to respond with the happy hour. It is getting caught in that happy atmosphere. Let's see if it can take success from that as Electros with the energy ball. Yet another not very effective hit here. On to Brute Bonnet. Actually gets okay damage done there though as Brute Bonnet does look to respond with the Dream Eater which unfortunately will fail because Electros is not asleep. Rotom looking to capitalize. Goes with the take heart on the field here. It is going to boost that 105 base special attack as well as boosting that special defense that's a base 107 as the triple arrows on the Rotom will finish it off that boost does not matter Ro Rillaboom has taken Rotom out of this matchup and now the take up being performed by Electros who also happens to have a base 105 special attack and now we have Brute Bonnet going with the freeze dry here onto the electric type. Gets a great critical hit there as well as out comes Raichu in its Cantonian form for the Lumios glitches and immediately it's going to go for the super effective cross poison onto Rillaboom. Gets a great hit there. Rillaboom does look to respond with the payback. Getting a fantastic hit on Raichu as Electros goes for the magic powder. But unfortunately, that does not affect Rillaboom being immune to powder type moves. As the aromatic miss now from Brute Bonnet looking to help out Rillaboom. This is going to boost its special defense. 
Rillaboom with that special defense of only base 70. does need a boost there as Raichu gets an, a boost in its attack and special attack. And now we have Rillaboom going with the Blizzard here. But Electros is able to avoid that attack, unfortunately, for Raichu. It is unsuccessful and it is eliminated from this matchup. Rillaboom has just put the Luminous Glitches in front. But Electros going with the Heavy Slam. It is not heavy enough to do much damage to Rillaboom there. And Brute Bonnet looks to capitalize with the Iron Head which is not very effective on Electros doing very little damage as out comes Magnazone under the side of the Lumios glitches and Rillaboom immediately going for the headlong rush but yet again that levitate ability for Electros does come into play and this allows Magnazone to go with the Gigaton Hammer onto Rillaboom and Rillaboom is eliminated with that critical hit immediately Magnazone comes out onto the field and levels the match as Electros follows it up with the Sucker Punch but unfortunately that is going to fail and this does open the door for Brute Bonnet to go with the Force Palm onto Electros, but Electros is able to hold on as out comes Floor just for the Striating Greens, and it is the Terrastal Pokemon for the Grass type. So even though it is the Flower Pokemon, it is a Fairy type. It is not a Grass type until now because it has Terrastalized into this kind of pretty looking crown, I guess you might say. But now Floor just with the Speed Advantage does go with the Eerie Impulse onto Magnazone here. And this is going to lower Magnazone's special attack, which is base 130 as well as it goes with the Petal Blizzard. This hits everybody on the field, which unfortunately eliminates Electros from this matchup. The Striking Greens are back in front as Brute Bonnet with the Hydro Steam onto Magnazone. Gets a good hit on the Electric Steel type. An electric steel type is now joined by a steel type that is turning into an electric type because out has come Bronzong, the Terrastal Pokemon for the Luminous Glitches. We have two Terrastal forms on the field right now as this strange looking crown does turn this bronze bell into the electric bell. And now the shelter from Floor just is going to boost its defense here on the field a great deal as well and Magnazone is going to go with the quick attack on the Brute Bonnet putting it into knockout range and Bronzong could capitalize here going with the drain punch but instead goes for floor just here so it is going to sap a little bit of its energy it is at full strength so it doesn't have any health restored as the Wonder Room from Brute, Brute Bonnet does get set up and this is going to switch everyone's defense and special defense stats as floor just with the bleak wind storm but Magnazone is able to avoid that attack however Bronzong just tanks that hit Anyway, as Magnazone now with the echoed voice and Brute Bonnet tanks that hit. It is still holding on. Bronzong with the Dragon Darts. This will hit both of them. Hitting first floor just and now hitting Brute Bonnet. And Brute Bonnet is finally taken out of this matchup. We are back to a level, level playing field yet again. It is three versus three. Out comes Go Goat for the Striking Greens. And floor just goes with this spatial rend onto Magnazone. Not very effective there. Great. By Magnuson to tank that move as the heal pulse by Gogoat. I don't know what it is thinking, but it has just restored the health of Bronzong back to full strength. And Magnazone, as its thank you, goes with the Powder Snow, which is super effective on both Forges and Gogo. It doesn't do much damage, however, and Bronzong with the Brine onto Gogo. Also not very effective on the grass type. Forges is gonna set up the sunny day on the field. So that sunlight does turn harsh over the field and Gogo is going to go with the curse. It is going to lower its speed here, but it should boost its attack in doing so as well. And it's already got that base 100 attack as well as boosting that physical defense. Magnazone is going for the roar of time on to Gogo here. Gogo takes some decent damage and Bronzong follows it up with the shell side arm. This is super effective on two Forges. Forges actually does better than I expect to take them that hit and this allows it to respond with the speed swap onto Bronzong. This actually favors Bronzong though, so I don't know what Forges is thinking on the field here. Bronzong only has a base speed of 33 and it thanks it by going with the Dark Pulse and eliminating Forges from this matchup, putting the Lumios glitches back in front as this back and forth match. Nobody is holding anything back, but unfortunately Magnazone does have to recharge and this allows Gogo to go with the knockoff onto Bronzong. Gets a fantastic hit and knocks off Bronzong's Leopard Berry in the process as the Wonder Room does wear off. And out comes Toad Scroll for the Striating Greens. Bronzong now with the power trip. Welcoming Toad Scroll to the field, but Toad Scroll does not take much damage and Magnazone follows it up with his Absorb, trying to capitalize on that park ground typing of Toad Scroll here. There is Magnazone having a little bit of health restored as Gogo with the Bitter Malice onto Magnazone. Gets a really good hit there and it's also going to lower that attack stat of Magnazone. Toad Scroll looking to follow it up going for the bulk up here. It is preparing for a big matchup as it gets its attack and defense boosted here. 
Bronzong is going to go with the facade onto Gogo. Gogo is able to tank that hit. Magnezone looking to follow it up though. Goes with the super effective blaze kick, taking Gogo out of this matchup. Critical hit even. But Toadscrawl is all by itself and it has three electric types to contend with. It has that part ground typing, so it is immune to electric type attacks. Immediately going for the Harden, it is going to boost its defense here on the field. As we get the dynamic punch from Bronzong, the Toad School is able to avoid. And Magnezone looking to follow it up through its bit is going to actually rest, so it is going to put itself to sleep, but it's also going to restore its strength to full health. Which is great for Magnuson as long as it can wake up. But Toad School could actually capitalize here. Going for the Fire Lash on a Magnuson. Almost gets the elimination as well and lowers the defense of the part Steel type in the process as that sunlight does fade. Bronzong is going to go for the Screech. It is going to greatly lower that defense of Toad School here. But I cannot believe Toad School was able to get that massive Fire Lash on a Magnuson who is still fast asleep, completely unaware of what has happened to it. Toad Squirrel could get the elimination here, going for another fire type move, the flame charge is super effective, and Magnezone is eliminated as Toad Squirrel does get a speed boost in the process. And now out comes Sandy Shocks as the last Pokemon for the Lumios glitches, and immediately it is going to go for the super effective Glaive Rush onto Toad Squirrel. Toad Squirrel takes a lot of damage there, and it is followed up by the Thunderbolt, which will not affect Toad Squirrel. Again, it is part ground type, so it is immune to it. Now Toad Squirrel with the Giga Drain, and it is a one hit Wonder Sandy Shocks is taken out of this matchup by Toad School. A fantastic play. Toad School has taken down two of the electric types. It only has to contend with Bronze on now. Straight and Greens are holding their own as we get the Magical Leaf and the first time warning of this matchup. Toad School though, looking to respond with the Steel Wing on the Bronze Wing. Not very effective. Gets in some good chip damage though as Bronze Wing does respond with the Headlong Rush on the Toad School. These two are back and forth chipping away at each other and does all the defense of Bronze Wing there as well as its special defense. Toad Scroll though with the drill peck on a Bronzong. Bronzong in knockout range after that not very effective move. It responds with the axe kick and gets the elimination. Toad Scroll is taken out of this matchup and the Lumios glitches hold on after the Toad Scroll almost got the victory for the grass types. And with that, the Lumios glitches have ensured their placing in the Victory Road series as they do stay in eighth place. And next round, they will be taking on the Levere Candy Huts, whereas the Strikes and Greens stay in last place in clear contention for that Twisted Spoon. And next round, they will be taking on the Glaceido Nordics, looking to end their fairy tale run. But until then, Nidorino is Nidorino. So thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. I'll see you when you see me.